Yes. Make sure you get a picture of the root. So like a, a shot? Yep. And then uh, from this way? Get your fingers lowered from the camera too. There you go. So we put in a new furnace this winter, this winter and spring, early spring. And then go ahead and get a, a go ahead and take Come with me. We watch Mira. Mm -hmm. So this is the garage that got added on and the roof is at a very low pitch. So we've had leaks in here for, for years and years and years. And so this whole building and this whole section is definitely is totally infested with mold. You can see the le leaks right around there. Yep, it just snowed last night. So this is the snow melting off of this roof in the north side. And this is just uh, destined to fail. This is a terrible design. You got a ping pong table over there in the mm -hmm. back corner. You do. Yep. And this is, But this is a nice big slab that can be retained and reused if needed once this thing is torn down. This building, I think, is relatively dry overall, but there's no insulation in the walls or the roof. That's so bad. this is basically the old Elks Lodge, and so basically what you had is, you know, essentially a bar here in the back. You got your pool table, you have your wood-burning stove there, and you have your public hangout area up here towards the front. You got a dartboard. Basically, this is like a, a very terrible kitchen. Yeah. It's like the worst, <laughs> worst kitchen I've ever seen. Yep. But there's a microwave, a refrigerator, a stove. Don't shake that around too much. You gotta do smooth movements for the, for the audience. So then here we got um, basically what was passing as one bedroom with a kind of a ramshackled closet put on there. Um, but this is all part of still part of the main structure. We have potentially an old, super old cabin over here. Um, I don't, I don't know what I don't that know ladder if this is. got added on or if this was original or what, but what, Seal? I don't know what that ladder is. That ladder goes up to, um, I think there's a little loft up there. I want to see. I'm not going to go in it. Yeah, there's a loft that goes up right there. So that's kind of cool. It's very dark up there. But this should all get torn down. Not worth keeping. Um, we got a bathroom. Bathroom out here. It says, Gen ladies, gentlemen, please pee outside as we are having a plumbing issue. Thank you. <laughs> we got a closet in the back here. And we got some kind of like... Uh, the suite back here. You got a loft up here. We got a little bed area back here. And we got the bathroom over here. Half bath. So go ahead and stop the video and start a new one. You going? Mm hmm Okay. So then, uh, let's go look at the basement real fast. Oh, I told you not to go in there. I'll, I'll shoot the video, you can wait for me. Okay, I'll take you guys down to the basement, which is a very impressive basement in my opinion. Majorly dug out, really well done concrete. Very gross, a little bit of framing in here and some subdivision of the space. But yeah, this is all in disrepair we got. But we do have a, a working pressure tank. We have a new shut off switch for the pressure tank in the well. We have new plumbing coming in here with PEX pipe and that's going out to the well there. And then all of this, all of this pipe work has not been pressure tested yet, so we'll see if we have some surprises when we turn that on. Uh, but looks like we have some decent plumbing and sewage, sewage drain lines there. Um, ABS, it all looks to be still in working order. 
Um, there's a septic drain line going down. We've got a nice clean out there. Uh, that's going there. And then this is for the sump pump in order to eject that into the sewage, which is not a good idea. This should be going outside. But then we got, that's our sewer line basically going out there and we did do a new septic tank. Here's some furnaces, some old ductwork. This would need to be removed. This should all be torn out, all this framing and whatnot and drywall. The head clearance right there is not, not awesome. All right, let's go outside now. Go out the back, see how it's going. So this is the back door. As you can see, we do have a nice big propane tank, but we are scheduled to get natural gas brought in here in short order. So that will happen soon. Um, we did just do a new septic tank over here. Careful with your steps, y'all. Okay. You can see we did a new septic tank there. Uh, we, I- No, you can't really. I did, but you can see the risers there. See the risers? Yeah. The lids. Right. Uh, over there yep. and there. Yep. And we also just did some uh, a new water line here. And we had some settling with the backfill there, so that's going to need to get graded. We'll get mm -hmm. back in here with the machine. Also, all the dirt all the way around the house all needs to be essentially um, brought down because as you can see that there is dirt up on the wooden siding. So that's a bare minimum um, that would need to happen. And then the boundary markers go from about that uh, kid's swing set there over to the road. And it goes up into the hills a little bit here. And, and the road is the The road direction. is over there. Yeah, there. Yep, the road's over there. And then there's a boundary marker up in the trees up in there. And we have 0. 0.9 acres. 0. 0.9 acres. I don't know what that means. That means it's like... Um, I don't know how many square feet, but it's something like 30, 38,000 or 35,000, something like that. Nice little aspen grove here. But there's lots of little flat spots and little nooks and crannies in this, on this land. It's a, it's a good piece of land. It has really good infrastructure, you know, with heating, electrical, water and sewage and i'm currently are you still filming yes i'm currently having septic engineering done to do a, essentially a 10 bedroom system here and we have a domestic well which is a higher class well than the simple residential well we can service up to three households on a domestic well and we can also do livestock and agriculture with the domestic well so basically, yeah, the, the property line is in here somewhere, um, and then it goes up there, up into the trees. And also you can see that there's a ton of flat ground out here, um, and uh, we do have street lights, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So for we have uh, lit parking, and this oh. used to be a bar, it was an Elks Lodge. So, you know, essentially the thinking now is that we could resurrect it as a group event space. Now I am. Okay, so just documenting that the width of the building is basically 30, 37 feet. Uh, 32 feet. 32 feet, 4 inches. Can I let go? Yeah. Yay. Okay, now we got to measure the length. Sixty feet three inches. Sixty feet three inches. Right. It's going already. So this portion of the garage is slab on grade. You can see that's the bottom of the foundation there, presumably. Yeah. It's 
So that whole portion of the garage basically just needs to be tore down. That's a non-usable foundation there if you are gonna rebuild. A foundation could be um, excavated and poured in place uh, for footings around the perimeter of this slab if you still wanted to retain the usage of the slab and the footprint. I don't think it's good. The slab? I don't think so. I think it is. It's, it's, not, it's not all that cracked or moved on the inside. It's fine. Um, there's liable to have been some movement, but you could throw a thin layer of floor leveler over it and it'd probably be fine for years. So that's the, that's the footprint. Yep. So that's the foundation. It looks like the bottom of footing is about 27 inches deep. So definitely not frost up in Alma, Colorado at 10,000 feet. So that's a bummer. This is a grounding rod right here. But, you know, the main detriment to having a shallow foundation, I mean, obviously it's been here for 50 years and we don't have any signs of cracking or anything like that. It does look like it's pretty substantial. You know, it comes out wide off the stem wall, which we don't know how wide it is. The footing itself is a foot deep and it has a, a five inch overhang on the outside of this stem wall here which I believe is a slab on grade there's no signs of cracking or anything over here to my left um, is basically the end of the the footing here and then this is the beginning of the of the basement here so this is where it's gonna go down basically 10 feet or so this is the basement wall. And then we have the footing here that goes the full extent of this original lodge building. If this is a living structure, you would just get it compact? No, you just, it's got an effluent line. Oh, really? Yeah, see? That's the that's a septic. That's the new septic. So Angie's proposing putting a evergreen hedge along the road, some trees all along the perimeter of the property to have a nice sense of protection and separation from this semi-busy road here. I think that's a great idea. And we could run all the drainage from the whole property into the, into the basin that we could create for these trees here.